Hello, this is Mike Russell from MusicRadioCreative.com. If you've watched my channel for a while, you'll know I do plenty of Adobe Audition tutorials, but as I start doing more and more video, I'd like to show you my journey with Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's get started. Take a look at my screen. This is the splash page you get when you first start Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, it's part of the Creative Cloud subscription, which is why I'm utilizing it more and more, but it can be very daunting if you've never edited video before. I'm going to show you how to get started. Click New Project and then just give it a name down here. So for instance, Mike. Simple as that. Don't worry about any of this to get started. Just click OK. Now, another daunting screen comes up if you've never done video before. Well, the first thing you want to do to quick start is cancel this completely. Don't worry about that. And then you'll get the Adobe Premiere Pro workspace. Now, there are lots of different windows, and I'd like to go into more detail as I create more Adobe Premiere Pro tutorials. But first of all, I wanted to just bring in a few videos I've shot on my Canon 60D camera and drag this one in. Now, you simply drag and drop it here into the bottom left project window. That will import your file, and very shortly it'll be there and available to use. There it is. Now, how do you get it from the project window into the timeline. Clicking and dragging won't work. By the way, if you hover over it and move this, you can actually see the video that you've shot. If I want to get it into the timeline or multi-track as we're used to in audio editing, I need to right click that clip and then select new sequence from clip. That will create a brand new timeline there. You can see with three video slots and three audio slots. Now, I'm very simply just going to trim this clip. It's really easy to do that. You can hover over the start and the finish and you'll get that sort of red arrow there. So if I want to trim that maybe to where I start panning the camera, which is about here, let's trim that right the way down there. And then at the very end, We'll just trim it in a little bit because there's a camera shake at the end. And then pull that to the very start of the timeline. And then I'm simply going to show you once I've trimmed it and I'm happy with the video. That looks pretty good to me. I'm going to go into the file menu, making sure that the timeline window is selected. Then I'm going to go to export media. And then I need to select formats. Now, this is where you can get stuck again. There are so many formats for video. It can be quite confusing. It's not like the wave and MP3 world of audio. So the best one to use if you're exporting for use on somewhere like YouTube is H.264. Okay, select that format. And then very kindly, Adobe Premiere Pro provides you with plenty of presets here for everything from uh, Android phones to tablets, iPhones, Apple TVs. But I like to go for the YouTube format. Obviously, it's going to be optimized for uploading to my YouTube channel. And I select YouTube HD 1080p because that's the I want the maximum quality there. And then just under 24 frames per second, which is that kind of movie style video format that we're used to watching in cinemas. And then to export it, you simply select export, making sure you've given it a reasonable output name. So you could give it anything like just Mike will do. Save, export, and within moments, you'll have your YouTube video ready to drag and drop into YouTube and upload. I hope you enjoyed this very brief introduction to Adobe Premiere Pro. I will still be doing plenty of Adobe Audition tutorials on my channel, but I wanted to introduce you from an audio world into video, especially if you're taking full advantage of the new Adobe Creative Cloud subscription that gives you software like Premiere Pro. So if you want to see more tutorials in Premiere Pro, I'll be making them as I go along and as I learn myself. So when I learn a new trick in Adobe Premiere Pro, or I want to know how to do something, I'll learn it and then create a video for you. If this sounds like something you'd like to see more of, simply leave a comment below this video and let me know your thoughts.